For 1,600 years, it stood beneath open skies without rusting. The iron pillar of Delhi defies modern metallurgy. How did ancient blacksmiths master anti-corrosion technology? This is the iron pillar of Delhi. For over 15 centuries, it has been standing in the open air in Delhi, India. And you won't believe what it's made of. You see that rusty color? That's not rust. It's paint. The real thing is shining bright. In fact, despite being over six tons of nearly pure iron, it is barely rusted at all. Scientists are stumped. See, this pillar was built around the 4th or 5th century CE. It's probably under Chandragupta II. That's when it would have looked like this, all shiny and new. But how is it that this huge pillar hasn't rusted in all these centuries? Well, no one is 100% sure, but studies suggest three possible secrets. First, its unique high phosphorus content. See, iron normally oxidizes easily, but when there's enough phosphorus, it forms a protective layer that prevents further corrosion. Second, slag particles. These are left over from the iron smelting process, and they contain compounds that form a protective layer on the surface of the iron. Third, there could be other elements in the pillar that we have unidentified yet that might also help with rust prevention. And fourth, it may have originally had a coating of some kind which could have prevented rust formation. Maybe it was painted. Whatever the reason, this pillar shouldn't exist. Modern alloys that we use today to resist rust often fail when exposed to the same conditions that this pillar has endured. So what's the secret? How did ancient Indian metallurgists make such a pure iron pillar without any modern tools or technology? They used advanced smelting techniques to produce such a massive quantity of high purity, iron, and then skillfully forged it into a pillar. It took a lot of skill and precision to get it right. They had to know the exact chemical composition to make sure it wouldn't rust. But the most amazing part is that they may have done it accidentally. This pillar was probably just an experiment gone right. Somehow they managed to create an alloy that resisted corrosion, a feat we're only beginning to understand today. The sad part is, we've lost this knowledge. Somewhere down the line, we stopped making these alloys, and now we're only just rediscovering them. If we can figure out exactly how this pillar was made, we may be able to create new alloys that are stronger and more resistant to corrosion than anything we have today. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. See you next time.